Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some Power Rangers figures. And yeah, we're doing Power Rangers week again. We got this brand couple brand new items from Power Rangers. We got the Mighty Morphin Megazord and the Blue Ranger Shark Cycle. Before we look at the figures themselves, we're going to look at the packaging. And there goes the T-Rex Sword and the Ninja Seal White Ranger falling down on the job. <laughs> We're saving our world. They fall down on the job. <laughs> but here we got a nice product shot of the box for the Mighty Morphin Megazord in its Megazord configuration. Which looks pretty cool. And the Dinozords in their modes. Dino modes. Well, Triceratops and Sabertooth Tiger aren't considered dinosaurs, but you get why they call this the Dinosaur. Because that's what they called it in Mighty Morphin. We got a product shot of the Mighty Morphin Megazord in its robot mode. Power Rangers, Dino, Megazord. Now I'm going to look at the back of the box. Another product shot. Of the figures and the Dinosaurd. Sabertooth Tiger. Pterodactyl. Tyrannosaurus. Mastodon. And Triceratops. And this is going to be one thing I have to do because... Because they got some artwork of the Rangers that go in these... Megazords. I don't have a complete set of Mighty Morphin Rangers yet to show this off, but this is all the Rangers that go into these Zords. But a lot of nice artwork for this box. I love it. Why this is going to be my favorite. Next on the list, we're going to look at the packaging for the Shark Cycle Blue Ranger, like an Imagine X, but not an Imagine X. So let's look at that. Some nice artwork. Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger. The Shark Cycle for the Blue Ranger and the Blue Ranger on his bike, ready to roll into battle. And warning label and all that stuff. Play School, Heroes, Hasbro, and that's all there is to say. For the packaging, let's get down to reviewing each and everything in this toy haul of Power Rangers. These Power Rangers figures, each and every Power Rangers figure. We're going to start with the used figure. This is one I got from the Goodwill outlet. This is my Ninja Steel White Ranger. She doesn't have... Her original weapon that came with her. So I gave her this sword. To give her a sword. So yeah, she's got a sword. Articulation. Bend at the knee. Rotation right there. Rotation. Bend at the knee. Nice. Bend at the elbow. Hinge joint. Hinge joint. Bend at the elbow. Which is nice. Head is on a swivel. No ball joint, which is a real shame. Otherwise, a really good figure for an old school Power Rangers Ninja Steel figure. So glad to have that for my collection. Next on the list, we're going to look at the Shark Cycle Blue Ranger. It's the exact same design as the Red Ranger Cycle. Push this up, and he can go chomp, chomp, chomp. With the shark cycle. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Some putties. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> and here is the Red Ranger next to the Blue Ranger on the cycle. And they have the exact same figure. Probably wondering what's the articulation on these figures. Not much. They don't have much movement. Head is on a ball joint. But other than that, not much movement in the body at all. But yeah, these are good display pieces 
for your Power Rangers collection, especially if you don't have the original Shark Cycles in hand. And these are good looking figures. I love them. But now we're going to get on to the most important part of the review. We're going to look at the Dinozords in their Dino modes, starting with the good old Triceratops. And this is a Triceratops on treads. Give me a second while I take care of that. Sorry, one of my timers going off. <laughs> I had set for 1.30, so yeah, sorry about that. Now we're going to look at this Triceratops head. Can move up that far due to transformation. This can become his tail or become a blaster, which is pretty cool. That's all there is to say for the uh, Triceratops. Okay, next on the list is the good old Sabertooth Tiger. And yeah, arms can move that far due to the joints. They don't have any ball joints at the legs, which is really a shame. And this item was released from the Power Rangers Beast Morphers line for the Team Up episode. But I'm so glad to have a complete set of these. Sabertooth Tiger's got the blaster tail, but it can also serve as her tail, and she can, she can jump. Yellow Ranger Sword can jump. Jump, jump, jump. Next on the list, we got the good old... Good old Mastodon. Do that. No articulation in the legs. So there ain't much to say about that one. We got the uh, Pterodactyl. It can fly. You can make it fly in your hands. Head is on a hinge. But other than that, not much to say about that one. Next on the list, we got the good old Tyrannosaurus. And I got him with the blaster pieces so I wouldn't lose track of them. Arms don't move very far due to transformation. Head, mouth can open. I mean, you can be like, chomp. Chomp, chomp, legs on a hinge. He's got a nice triceratops tail, so you can go smack, smack with the tail if you want. Not much articulation in the tail, but a lot of articulation in the legs, which is real nice. But now we're going to do the most important thing. We're going to combine them into one Megazord. I could never figure out the battle mode for this because they don't include that in the instructions for a battle mode. But yeah, the transformation is straightforward. So sorry if I had the... And the sorry about that hissing noise. That was me having a correction moment. <laughs> Which can be quite tricky because this figure is very tight. Flip down the dynamo head, flip this in, and there we got the body ready to go. Next, we're going to transform the legs, which is very simple. Flip up the saber tooth tiger head like so. Fold these like so. Got a leg all done. And I'm following the instructions on the box, so... There we got one leg done. Okay, next we got the Triceratops to convert into leg mode like that. And then you connect them into these ports right here on the leg. And there you've got the legs all, all done. Next, we're gonna work on the upper body. Disconnect the Triceratops head. That will become a part of the Zord in a moment. Disconnect these. These will play a big part in the transformation step. Fold these out like so. Like so. Flip these up. Fold these 
around if you can get them to work. Got one arm all done, one to go. And got the other arm done. So now we're going to connect this into the back. See, there are two tabs right here. You tab this into the tabs in the back of the backpack to form his body. And you'll hear that click into place with this new Mighty Morphin Megazord. Connect this, flip these around to form the head. So far, we're nearly done. Done with this transformation. Very straightforward for a Megazord transformation. It's straightforward. I'm gonna fold the wings in like so. Well, I guess we could fold the head in first and then fold the wings in because it's quite tricky to fold the head in and the wings. Now we're gonna connect this, this to the chest with the two tabs like so. And there we got the Megazord half transformed. Now we're gonna use these pieces in the back. So we're gonna put this one right there, if I can get it to work, come on. Right there, second one right there. A lot of steps with this old, with this new version of an old school figure, a lot of steps. Connect these guns into his back. And there, we got the Megazord in battle mode. Looking ready for battle. A fun figure, for sure. But now we're going to get down to comparison. Here is the Mighty Morphin Megazord next to my original Power Rangers Dino Charge Megazord. And he is quite bigger than the Dino Charge Megazord. We're going to give the Megazord the Power Sword, his main weapon. And of course, what transformation would be complete without the Mastodon Shield? All right, got to get my finger in there. I'm going to fold this peg out, connect it into his hand like so. Come on, work with me here. Work with me here. And there, we got the Mighty Morphin Megazord. Ready for battle. And this is a nice looking Megazord. I just love how it turned out. And now for comparison, we're going to bring in the other two. The main two Rangers I have from Lightning Series for this comparison. We got the Blue Ranger and the Red Ranger. I don't have the, the Black Ranger or the Pink and Yellow Ranger yet. But it's on my goal list my goal list to get a complete Mighty Morphin Power Rangers team. That's all there is to say for that comparison. Articulation with the Megazord. He can kick out that far. Can't kick back that far due to the, these pieces right here. A lot of articulation on this figure. Except no ball joints, which is a real shame. But yeah, Full 360 in the arms, which is nice. And the uh, things like the pop loose on me, and then, then I gotta fix them. These tabs don't, don't wanna stay in, but full 360 on the arms. Hinge joint, rotation, a lot of articulation in the arms. Is a Mighty Morphin Beast Morpher, Mighty Morphin Megazord release worth adding? to your Power Rangers collection if you're a Power Rangers fan. Yes, I've been a Power Rangers fan since I was a kid. And I will always be a fan. But before, before I end this video, before I end this video, sorry if I have to, repeat, sorry if I repeat it myself, I'm gonna look up the year Mighty Morphin Power Rangers came out on my tablet. So you, so you can know how old the Mighty Morphin Megazord is. What year did Mighty Morphin Power Rangers come out in? Nineteen ninety-three. Wow, 
I was born in 1993, and that was when I was born. So that series is really, really old, man. I kid you not. That was around when I was born This, these toys came out in. But I'm so glad to finally have this for my collection. And is a Mighty Morphin Megazord worth adding to your collection? Yes, he is worth the money if you can get this Beast Morpher Megazord for less than $40. If you can pick him up, he is worth the money. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.